a novel teaching tool for visualizing the invisible bile duct axis in three dimensions during biliary cannulation. Compact disc method. Selective biliary cannulation is difficult to master even in cases with normal papillae. In the cases of a papilla with a long oral protrusion, the difficulty is greatly increased. In such cases, visualization of the invisible bile duct axis in three dimensions is required, but is difficult to master even for experienced endoscopists. Individual trainers must commit to developing their teaching skills, however, there is no dedicated teaching tool for this difficult task. Therefore, we have developed a novel and simple teaching tool for recognizing the invisible bile duct axis in 3D called the compact disc method. First, the trainee must imagine that a number of CDs are lined up in the oral protrusion three-dimensionally. In cases with a normal papilla, one CD is imagined. In contrast, in cases of papilla with a LOP, several CDs are imagined. CDs were imaged at the horizontal direction of the several transverse folds of LOP. Next, to form an image of the invisible bile duct, the trainee should imagine that a line runs through the center hole of each imagined CD. In addition, the CD should be imaged as slightly offset when viewed from the front of the papilla. Manipulation of the catheter through the center hole of each imagined CD is a similar movement to that in the adjustment of the axis of invisible bile duct in cases of LLP. The trainee can become proficient in adjusting the invisible bile duct axis in LLP cases by the accumulation of affected feedback using the CD method. Typically, the trainee is only conscious of the hole in the papilla and not the bile duct axis. On the other hand, an experienced endoscopist can recognize the nearby bile duct axis but cannot imagine the bile duct axis at the back. In contrast, experts can imagine the invisible bile duct axis at the back and adjust the bile duct axis by manipulating the catheter through the hole. The CD method can be summarized using the following schema. First, CDs were imagined at the horizontal direction of the several transverse folds of LLP. Next, the endoscopist should assume this proper scope position such that the CDs of the papilla and catheter tip are face to face. However, despite the good position, if the endoscopist pushes the cannula with force, the bile duct axis of the LOP bends easily. The endoscopist must manipulate the catheter slowly and gently through the whole of each imagined CD. Likewise, when wired guided cannulation is performed, if the endoscopist pushes with force, the guide wire can easily damage the bile duct. The endoscopist must manipulate the guide wire slowly and gently through the whole of each imagined CD when wire-guided cannulation is performed. The imagined invisible bile duct obtained by the CD method can contribute to proper and gentle guide wire manipulation with wire rotation under fluoroscopy. We now show how to provide feedback using the CD method. First, the endoscopist should imagine a CD on the papilla. 
Next, the endoscopist should assume the proper scope position such that the CD on the papilla and catheter tip are face to face. Here, the CD on the papilla and catheter tip are not face to face. The CD on the papilla and catheter tip are not yet face to face. The endoscopist misunderstood the orifice of the papilla. The endoscopist changed the endoscopic view and the direction of the CD on the papilla changed slightly. The CD on the papilla and catheter tip are almost face to face. The CD on the papilla and catheter tip are finally face to face. However, the imaginary line connecting the CDs in the oral protrusion clearly shows that the axis of the catheter and bowel duct are not matched. The endoscopist changed the axis of the catheter to adjust the axis of the invisible bowel duct in the oral protrusion. Selective deep biliary cannulation was successful. When performing ESD, the adjustment of the bowel duct axis by CD method allows for a safe incision direction. The CD method is very useful for making 3D images of the invisible bowel duct and providing feedback to trainees. As this method is simply based on imaging CDs, without words, it can be used in any country. As for limitation, in the case of over papilla that are completely under a fold or inside a diverticulum, imaging several CDs were impossible. However, it would be possible for trainees to understand that such papillae are difficult cases of biliary cannulation. In summary, we have developed a novel education method for biliary cannulation called the CD method. The CD method is simple but should be considered as a novel and useful teaching tool for biliary cannulation.